I say that, uh, that we would like to uh, have a dialogue because there has been no dialogue. I understand that this past weekend there was a meeting in this room sponsored by BP. Um, none of the town elected or appointed uh, board officials were invited to attend. Uh, BP has uh, made an issue out of this kind of advertising. And at the very top, where most people start to read, it says development approach, working together with the community to make the project benefits a reality. I'm not sure which community Mr. Chandler is referring to. He may be referring to just the leaseholder and uh, pro-win community. It certainly isn't the majority of this town. Um, so when Mr. Chandler is referring to the PIP, I think that there will be some individuals who will contest the extent of that, whatever the, he considers the dialogue to be, because it, uh, it certainly hasn't been with this chairman. I've never met nor talked with uh, Mr. Chandler. Uh, the last person I saw was Mr. Uh, Gross, and that was his swan song as he left uh, this town back in February of this year. Uh, Mr. Chandler's had roughly eight to nine months, depending upon when he became involved in the handover, to, uh, uh, to initiate some dialogue and to have a meeting. Mr. Gross, at least, had the courtesy to do that. Mr. Chandler hasn't taken, that, uh, taken advantage of that. Uh, so when, we, when I hear things that uh, are pushed, uh, put in the uh, public arena in the fourth estate, and then uh, he uh, sends us this lovely letter about what their intentions are. Uh, BP, uh, third paragraph in his letter dated September 14. BP has spent the last six years working with local officials, stakeholders, and community groups in Cape Vincent and throughout Jefferson County. Really? Is that right? Well, I, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I, I think there's been a year and a half lapse of uh, any dialogue, so I would contest his uh, statement. And I would think that the uh, uh, PSC and the siting board and perhaps even the governor would uh, want to uh, have a clear representation of statements that are made by BP. So uh, we're going to keep our options open. We are open to dialogue with British Petroleum. Uh, we just want a fair playing field if they come to town see everybody, just don't see uh, people who have a financial stake in this. Uh, and that's a direct financial stake. Uh, you can talk about uh, uh, the uh, possibility of a pilot all he wants. Um, <laughs> I think there are certain of us who have an angle on what that should look like. But um, in all seriousness, if uh, BP is uh, intent on pursuing uh, their projects or project, and they want to uh, be able to tell the powers that be in Albany that they've had communications and a working relationship with this uh, community, it is more than just the leaseholder community that we should be talking about. Any questions? Dave? <coughs> Um, I'm not usually one to flip-flop on my positions, uh, I usually don't, um, and I know at the last planning board meeting I recommended to you gentlemen that, that you keep your options open. Um, my intent at that time was because British Petroleum had not made clear what their intent was. Um, I would, I uh, agree and support everything that you just said, except that now that they've made their, their, their actions clear, they're, they're intending to, to move with Article 10. I don't think we owe them the, the word of day to, to say, um, because what they're doing now is playing, they're playing a public relations game with us. They're trying to make it seem as though we have to engage them now in this participation thing in order to look good for the Article 10 process. Well, you know what my opinion of that is, I think we should oppose the Article 10 process to begin with, and therefore, if they're going to engage in Article 10, 
I don't see why K. Vincent should still entertain them. If they want to go through the state, let them go through the state. They've, they've done all the community damage they can do here. Uh, I, I think from here on in, they should, they should take it to the state and, and leave us alone. So I, I would, I agree with everything you've said. They've been very remiss in their communications. Everything that they have done has been negative. So community damage will continue if they portray us as being involved. And what I'm here to state is that is patently false. We have not been involved. I am not aware that any of the current elected officials and this planning board, um, you will see here, by the way, that there are no conflicted individuals sitting here today. Not, not or, even, or even remotely conflicted. Um, uh, that's all I have to say about that. But uh, as, far as, as far as the damage, it's if we acquiesce, and say, oh, they're so right. We, the, it's, it's, it's fine that they come into town and have their, have their uh, quasi-secret meetings, um, and uh, there is no invitation to people who still, until they, until they pull those applications, those applications are live. They have a responsibility within the seeker process to do something unless they remove them. They haven't had the courtesy to respond to that, they are playing a game. I, until they say they actually have an application with the Article 10 process, uh, we're, the, we're the game in town with them. You know, the, the PIP is, you know, it's just a letter of introduction. It's a letter of, of saying, well, we did have these conversations. Well, that's not all entirely correct. Is that, is that the official status of the PIP? that it's not really a part of the, of the Article 10 application Until process. they sign a, a document that says application, I'm going to interpret this as, as a bit of whitewash. They can't submit an application until they've done this PIP process. They're obligated to do, I think, it's 180 days of PIPing, and then, um, then they can do the application. Art. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I would like to applaud, I would assume it would be you, you, you mentioned just a minute ago that you, uh, you know, there are no conflicted people here and that's a refreshing change. Uh, people know that I've been sort of hammering on that and I would like to say that it, it's a good thing that the two individuals here, I have nothing personal against them, but I think that it's a good thing that this board is conducting itself the way it is. And I, I think that's a very refreshing change and thank you. Uh, secondly, real quickly, uh, you mentioned a dialogue with BP. <clears throat> My suggestion, and I hope that dialogue would really be relatively limited in terms of here is our law, we expect you to comply by this law, that's pretty much the end of the story. Oh yes, that's, you know, they, in theory, I'm not sure that Seeker would allow them to say we, we're just going to modify the two existing applications. I'm, it, it probably wouldn't allow it. Uh, thus, they would have to go, because of the 25 megawatt uh, threshold, they probably would be forced to go to uh, Article 10. But if they found a loophole in that and wanted to have a discussion with us, uh, the baseline that they would have to uh, lean their applications against would be our current, the revised comprehensive plan and the revised current zoning law, period. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Just a point of clarification. You sent a letter on September 6th, signed by you, to Mr. Chandler. Yes. And Mr. Chandler did not write a letter to you responding to that letter. He, he wrote, Mr., Mr. Hershey was the first person to get a response. I did get a response with my name and the, and the regarding the uh, uh, planning board. Yes, I did get a response from him. Okay, and that, but Mr. Hershey got one, and well, then... It's, all, it's the same letter. It's the same letter, thank yes. you. And is it dated the same date? Yes. Okay. I just point of clarification, thank you. Sure. And following up on the comment that Mr. Lamora made, 
until BP's application is withdrawn, and as I understand it, and I'm not a lawyer, but as I understand it, when they formally enter into Article 10 territory, that would have the effect of withdrawing the application. Everything's the same as it has been for the past year and a half. And I, you know, I honestly think we should leave it that way. Let them do the withdrawal. Put the monkey on their back. 